Wrangling crocs for a living certainly isn't for the faint-hearted, even if Matt Wright makes it look easy. You need to be fearless, slightly crazy, and as our reporter Dimity Clancy found out, prepared for anything. Whoa! <laughs> I'm Matt Wright. Catch and relocate the biggest crocodiles on earth. I'll just grab a bit of meat here and I'll go in. Getting this close to a crocodile at feeding time is a crazy and dangerous idea for most of us. Chopper. And what is this going to mean to him? Oh, this is his dinner. For Matt Wright, saltwater crocs are his life, his passion, and his work. This thing's eyeing you off now. He knows it's he knows it's dinner time. He introduces us to Tarzan, a 15-foot rescue croc. What are the rules here, Matt? Well, just don't get eaten. If he's coming up to the fence, he already knows it's coming. I'll get you to step back for a sec. Come on, buddy. Tonight, dinner is apparently on me. All right, in you come. On oh, me, come in? Yeah. You're going to feed sick. him? Oh, Jesus. This really is facing my fears. I have a huge fear of this, but... One of the big things Matt's trying to do is change perceptions about crocodiles. Now, you, what you need to do, you got the stick? Yep. Okay, you got it? Okay. So, we've got to get it into his mouth. Okay, how do I do that? Well, you need to walk up a bit further. <laughs> you need to put the meat right next to his mouth. He'll yep. spin at you. He could make a big, loud bang. Or he might just grab it gently. Okay, you're yeah. there though, right? Yeah, 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 I'm here. Yeah. Here you go, you got to come a bit closer. Keep going. Keep going. There you go. He's getting ready. Look at his, look at his neck. <laughs> <laughs> I got none of my food, so what do we need to do? Well, we probably should get out of here. We're at Matt Wright's top end safari camp in the Northern Territory. Now, as I'm coming back, I want you guys to start coming back. Uh-uh, you don't have it yet. There you go. There you go. Ooh. So he still can snap that. Home to 25 rescue crops. What's his temperament like? Um, yeah, he's cranky. You're a bit more cautious on oh, you. I, well, I stay out here for this fast. one. Yeah, the he's fast. The little ones are the fiercy ones. <laughs> Someone gets eaten or attacked is very bad for the crocodiles. Always trying to look after them and be the voice for the crocodile here in, the, in Australia. And a couple of hundred more wild crocodiles who live in this lagoon. We don't know every one of them. And yep. every day's a, a new surprise and a new crocodile. Let's see what surprises are. Let's go and have a look, <laughs> We're not on the water long before Matt spots Otis. What damage could he do? A lot. He'd eat you straight yep. away. He's our big resident boy that just sort of hangs around. He's like the guard dog of the pontoon. Yeah, wow. But you go in with him, he will eat you. Move here. The wrangler keeps in control of the beast during this tense and somewhat unconventional photo shoot for Matt's upcoming show, Wild Territory. Yeah, it's a different sort of photo shoot, isn't it? Yeah. Hold him, hold him. And isn't it a wild ride? That's it. Full of suspense. Look out. Pull him out. Hang on. Quick. As Matt and his team, Willow, Jock and Finn, capture and relocate problem crocodiles to save them and us. At the end of the day, once people fear an animal, first instinct, kill it. Snakes, crocodiles, you got all sorts of dramas with lions, tigers, bears, uh, wolves, anything around the world, any apex predator um, becomes a threat to humans, you kill it. How does that sit with you, that, Not that very first well. instinct? Yeah. It's, it's horrible. It's a very small-minded uh, mindset to have. This is your playground, oh. isn't it, Matt? It is. This is great. Great part of the world. Come on, come on, great, come on. until Matt decides to really test my nerves. All right, you're right. Look yeah, at yeah. coming. <laughs> Mate, <laughs> come on, let's that's go. Not come, get on, funny. Get on the boat. <laughs> come on, come on, come on, get on. Hey, you ready? Let me buckle you in, mate. Put your seatbelt on, buddy. Matt's wife Kaya and son Banjo were right come behind on, him in his fight to save the wild. Do you like crocodiles? Yeah, because they're You like that one? Mm. Matt Wright's wife. What's it like? Well, he's more wild animal than human, so <laughs> it's interesting. We do live life by our own rule book, and I think 
We're best mates. It gets interesting at times. It gets a bit tense. And you are a bit rogue. Oh. But, um... You've got to be living in the Territory. It's a tight-knit community here in the top end. Friends yeah, become family. Which is why their world shattered six weeks ago, when Matt's best friend and fellow cast member Willow was killed in a helicopter crash. Yeah, it just doesn't feel real still. Yeah, that he's not going to be there. So he was your right-hand man, wasn't he? Mm-hmm. They've got some fantastic memories of everything that we've done over the years. It's great, but I'd trade that in a heartbeat just to have Willow back. But they know the show must go on. Wild Territory airs on Channel 9 April 26, before being launched around the world. We're ready. <laughs> <laughs> We've got a chopper and a lot of places to go. He's a fantastic fella. Strap yourself in.